Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here with Brian Sanchez for our weekly little talk. How's it going, Brian? Steve, what's going on? It's a beautiful time in life, isn't it? It's so exciting. Is. Absolutely. It's so exciting. We got all the politicians, all the politic stuff going on, which we don't get into. We love everybody. We love everybody. So, anyway, um, we're going to talk. You know what? Let's let's say something about that. We won't say what groups we're affiliated, but you and I are affiliated with different groups in politics. Why do we get along? What are you and I doing differently that we appreciate each other? Um, because... You're accepting of a jerk like me. And you're accepting of a fool like me. See, people, it can work out there. All we got to do is get along. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. Yeah. I'm running for president, by the way. Awesome. Another yeah. another hat in the ring is good. Hey, fitness for 10, <clears throat> POTUS. Hey, we got this going on. Just We just can't promote you in the gym because we don't do politics at all, so... Fact, fact. So I'll, I'll I'll make sure we do it outside of it. But yeah, all right. Anyways, there was my political speech. Okay, so we're going to talk about metabolism. Ah, good topic. And um, look, everyone's different, and there's so many different views on this. You know, the calories in, calories out, and there's so many things that are true. But <laughs> everyone's different. And some people have slower metabolisms than others, but, you know, you can't be a victim. You got to figure out what's wrong. And there's things that you can do no matter where your basal metabolic rate is or your base metabolism, which is the amount of calories that you burn at rest. Um, there's things that you can do no matter if your metabolism is up here or down here and age matters and all that stuff. So what are your initial thoughts, Brian? Well, you know, really look at that, you know, your basal metabolic, uh, metabolic rate, uh, BMR, um, everybody should have an idea. And if you don't know what that rate is, just go online. I, I'm going to be 57, so 57-year-old male BMR. And it's going to give me an idea of what it should be. Now, granted, you have to take take into uh, to, uh, consideration body size, body fat, activity, um, how much muscle you have, uh, uh, things like that, because it kind of can fluctuate like that. But I think the biggest thing for metabolism is let's throw away the idea that we're a victim of our metabolism. Why do we want to say that? Well, because we can make adjustments. Unless you have some kind of significant mental con condition. Now, look, I'm not a doctor. I've never tried to profess to be one but I have a basic understanding on how this can work for you. If you can't get out of your own way, your metabolism is probably going to be really low. If you can get out of your own way, you can increase your metabolism. And what I mean by that is we get to talk to a lot of people, Steve and I, the other professionals down here that coach and train people. And we meet all kinds of age groups, body sizes, and things like that. Metabolism is something we talk about. And it is not as easy as calories in, calories out, like Steve says. But you have to have a basic understanding of what it truly does and what it truly is about your body. Look, your, your body is going to need food to repair, to, to, to take care of it. It's going to switch the food to energy sources, to, to sources that can help your cells, can help your body function, and things like that. But it will need a certain amount of calories every single day to just maintain your function. In other words, if you're at home all day long, your body's going to burn a certain amount of calories. If you go past that and you eat more than your body needs for that day, what does the body do with those calories? Because your metabolism is stabilized at a certain level. So if you eat more than your body needs, what's it going to do? It's going to store it. How does it store it? Chubba chubba. Here it comes. Here comes the fat. And I think if we can appreciate that's not a dig on anybody. If you can appreciate that very basic explanation of what the body's going to do, then what can we do to change our metabolism? I think that's what's important to grasp. Now, if you've never worked out, don't go to the gym and start running. 
you know, go talk to your doctor, go get a physical, find out where your body's at, then come and work with a trained coach, a, a personal trainer, like at the Fitness for Tangier Parkway Athletic Clubs, or, or reach out to us and kind of get some ideas and start to find out ways that you can change your metabolism that are healthy for you as an individual. One of the basic things is if you're eating, uh, and I don't think I'm saying anything that that has to be proven right now. I think this is pretty general knowledge. If you're eating a lot of bad fats and sitting around doing fast food, you're gonna and you're not being active. Yeah, guys, you're gonna you're gonna slow down your metabolism. Your body's gonna only operate as hard as it needs to. If you get up and go for a, a walk around the block every day after your dinner. Do you think you might burn more calories? Yep. Are you going to burn more calories than you would sitting on the couch after dinner? Yep. If you start to create activities for yourself that are healthy for you, you're going to enhance your metabolism. You're going to burn more calories. If you start to work in the change of your body and develop muscle, now I'm not talking about professional bodybuilder muscle. I'm just starting to talk about nice lean muscle mass where you're using some form of resistance training, you're going to impact your metabolism in a positive way. The body's going to need more calories or going to burn more calories to support that muscle. What does that equate to? Well, that means it probably needs to burn some of that fat you might be storing if you don't increase your diet significantly <clears throat> with that. Um, because of that, um, I think it's important to understand not only your uh, BMR, your, your basal me metabolic rate, but know your calories and what you're eating through your day. It's not as simple as in and out. Based on that, know how many calories you have to burn a day through extra activities. And what would be the average? If you look it up and you say, okay, if I walk for 30 minutes at my body size, and you can do this by just looking it up on the computer for my body size, how many calories on the average would I burn? Well, then you know you're going to burn that extra calories and you can adjust your calories to lose fat based on that. If I do a, um, a circuit workout, how many calories am I going to burn? If I do a um, weightlifting routine, how many calories am I going to burn? If I do a dance class, how many calories am I going to burn? All of these things are in all the fitness applications that are out there. You can find out that information. And in today's day with technology, have it in the palm of your hand. There is no reason for any of us to be ignorant in the sense of not knowing, not in a mean way, to be ignorant to how our metabolism works. We have 100% control over adjusting it unless there's a medical condition that stymies that. Correct me if I'm wrong, Steve. Well, you know, when we're talking about metabolism, we're talking about how many calories that you burn basically in a day. And <clears throat> some people have hormone issues. For some people, it's less fair than others. We all know the skinny little guy or gal who can eat whatever they want and they're as thin as a twig. You know, we probably all know someone like that. Uh, yeah, maybe that's not fair, but we can all do something to make our metabolism work better. And like, we're not doctors. I mean, I started off in the business as a personal trainer. I've been doing this forever. Um, and Br Brian has too, weight training and so on. But there's a few things like, for instance, your hormones might be off. Okay. Fact. You, you might yeah. be gaining weight, only eating 1500 calories. That happens sometimes. So, you know, you, you need to address that, um, but don't let it get out of control. Do something, find out what's wrong before it gets out of control. And now you got a hundred pounds to lose, but little things that you can do every pound of muscle. Again, this is not rocket science. We don't need to be scientists to say this. Every pound of lean body mass muscle that you have on your body or that you add to your frame by lifting weights is going to help you burn more calories. It's going to help your metabolism, your metabolic rate. The more muscle you have, the more you're going to burn. The more your body composition goes the other way, the more fat you have, the less and the less muscle you have, 
you're carrying around a disproportionate amount of weight and you're not burning as much fat as you would be if you were leaner. In other words, your body composition was leaner. You had a less, a lower percentage of body fat. So you do that by a healthy diet and by exercise. Now, you know, I'm, I'm going on stuff I learned in college, which was, I don't know, 75, 80 years ago. Um, didn't you used to ride a horse and carriage to college? Yeah, that's all we had. You used to have cars back then, right? That's all we had, yeah. yeah I wasn't really good at riding horses. I used to fall off, so, so I used to get to ride in the carriage. Um, and, you know, I should have walked. That would have burned more calories. You should have. Yeah. More calories, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but about, and everyone's different depending on your activity level, but let's say about 70% of the calories you burn in a day is just if you burned – you would burn if you just laid on your back. And some people do that. They sit around all day. So, you know, they're burning 90% um, is just from sitting around. And what your body is just, you said it at the beginning, what your body burns just to stay alive. The more activity you have, like if you're running five miles every day, you know, 40, 45%, or maybe more, I, it's a wild guess, maybe energy that you're just burning from activity. Don't you think, Brian? And maybe that's about the right number. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, that you may burn from activity. Now, lifting weights is a benefit because of the lean tissue, the lean body mass. You're putting muscle tissue on. That's going to make you burn more calories because it takes more calories to maintain that body mass. Uh, fat just sits there, right? It does. And, and I think that's important because, you know, I guess to put it into my thoughts, because um, Steve is way smarter than me, guys. You see these? I drag my knuckles when I walk. Um, it really does vary depending on muscle, uh, fat on the body, age, um, activity levels, um, medical issues. And, you know, really, especially if, if, if you're getting older, you know, if you're not practicing going to the doctor, getting your regular physicals done, getting your bloods done, checking your hormones and things like that, you could have things that you don't even know about that are slowing your metabolism down. Like Steve saying, it's very possible to have a slow metabolism because of unknown conditions in your body. All of this boils into these programs like Steve and I are very, very um, into like age management programs where you really pay attention to your hormonal balances and things that are in there. Uh, it it kind of goes back to like guys like us that, that, that do work with TRT programs. I can tell you that just being in a, in a testosterone replacement program, I truly believe that helps my metabolism. Uh, I think it helps to keep my body burning more efficiently uh, than it did uh, 10 years ago. Uh, and so those, those are little things that if you take advantage of the programs that are out there in society in these different, different things where you can study what your body's doing, you'll learn a lot about it. But just to break it down to even simpler things, move, get up and move. You may not know how to count your calories. You may not know, you know, whether or not what you're doing is good, but if you're up, staying active, go, go walk around the golf instead of riding walk nine holes instead of ride 18, uh, go play uh, uh, pickleball, you know, uh, go walk the dog uh, for an extra lap around the block, mm -hmm. things like that. Ride your bikes, uh, go out and play with the grandkids. All these little things create a, a higher level of caloric burn and will assist you in your metabolism. I think, and I might be stepping way out there and I know in the comments, people might blast us over the last few years with all the concerns over medical issues, masks, vaccines, things like that. It may have slowed us down a little bit. I think, I think uh, we have to be conscious of that and get back to moving. Get up, move, hustle, get your body going. Yeah, and you know, I'll, I'll talk about TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, which Brian and I are both on. That's definitely going to enhance you and make you burn more calories, for sure. You're going to put some muscle on. Everything's going to be better. And there's um, a link in the description, uh, a phone number to call. There's a, um, 
a promo code to use and you get a great price. You know, they, they take care of your medications, your um, blood work and your consultations. And it's all for like the first month's 195. After that, it's 150. So use that promo code and you can call Royal Medical. But check out some other ones too. But this video is not about that. But since you brought it up, I just want people to know that they can find out more about that. Um, but that is a big deal. And like for me, um, when I was in college, in the summers, training uh, for football, um, I was lifting weights. I was in the weight room three hours a day. I was out on the field doing sprint work and so on 45 minutes a day. I mean, I was training like an Olympic athlete and I had to eat 6,000 calories just to maintain my weight. That wasn't fun. Now I work out for 45 minutes, five days a week. You know, I push a sled. I do some high intensity type training, <clears throat> interval training, and my body needs 2000 calories. That's one third. My body in my sixties, I need about 2000 calories a day. That's to maintain my weight. So if I want to lose weight and, you know, noticeably lose weight, I need to get below that number. So it changes as you age also. But if you guys have questions, um, put them in the comment section. Well, I always relate, and Brian does too, relate things to his clients and to what I've done in the past. What works for me, it might not work for you, but this is what I've done, and this is what happened. This is what happened when I was 30. This is what happened when forty. I was 40. I can tell you all those things. So if you have questions or comments, we love to hear your comments and your thoughts on uh, what's worked for you and you know, the amount of calories that you need to eat right now and so on and what your age is. So let us know. Um, Brian, as always, thanks for being with us. You know, it always makes my day when I have the opportunity to share conversations with you, Steve. You make my heart feel warm. Nothing but love, bro. Nothing but love. Talk to you next time. See ya.